Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and this time we have a trebuchet and if you remember back in one of my previous tutorials we built up a catapult and this one goes hand in hand as I had inspiration to build them both so if you did enjoy this video be sure to go back and check out the video for the catapult tutorial if you didn't already catch it. Now these are the blocks you'll need to build this trebuchet for yourself. If you liked the video be sure to go down and leave a like below, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this and it would also really help the channel. So with that all said guys, sit back relax, I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So in order to get started what we want to do is take our stripped dark oak wood and we need to place these 5 blocks apart, so there's 5 blocks a gap in between all the way around. Then on each of the corners we want to go up by 3, so that's 1, 2 and 3. 2 and 3, like so. Place a spruce stair on top of those. A slab underneath, like so. Come up by another two. Then come onto the inside now and place a temporary block here, here. Come in, like so. Break away those temporary blocks. Cap those ones off with slabs, like so. And then come up by 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Block in the middle. A block on top. Once again, capping those all off with slabs and a little slab underneath as well. Back to the bottom now, and we want to place some stairs, three stairs going all the way around to give the build a little bit more structure, and then slabs coming across. Now we can start to add in some more of the details. So, coming up to the top here, we want to place a barrel, but instead of this way, as I think, uh, instead of having the face going out, I want to place it like so, so it's facing inside of the block and that way it gives a little bit extra texture on things here. I think it looks a little bit better for the purposes of this build. So with that done, now we want to place dark oak signs coming around these top pillars, not with text on them though, but just like this. Alright, then we place a dark oak button in the centre. Dark oak fence on either side with a fence gate joining them, like so. Two more buttons there, and then we move down to this section. Again, we want to place our signs in, here and here. Here, 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 and all the way around on both sides. Moving down further, buttons once again, going around, like so. Out to the bottom section, and... At the base, we want to place in spruce trap doors, giving a little bit of um, more thickness to the base and a little bit more structure to it, here and here. And then once again, coming in with the signs, going around this top block that has been left over. And there we have it, that is pretty much it done for one of our sides. we just got to do it the exact same now on the other side. And the legs now should be done and looking something like this for the main structure for our trebuchet. So now we need to join them together and build the arm out. So first of all we want to join them together with some barrels like so. The texture here works well because it looks like metal bracing or a something that is moving and going around. So first of all we want to come to this side so the arm will be going up that way and the counterweight will be on this side here. And we want to take some stripped spruce wood this time, come out by two blocks like so, place a slab underneath and another two blocks there, a slab on top of that and a slab on top of the middle barrel like so. Come under here, place a grindstone and a spruce trap door, we'll get to the counterweight at the end. Coming round to this side though for the arm, we want to place two here, another one there, Two, two again, two again. We want five in total, so that's one, two, three, four, and one more, five, and bring it out like so. And some slabs underneath each of those spruce wood, including the one joining onto the barrel, like so. Once again, we come round with a grindstone, place it here with a dark oak fence, and then we want three chains one, two, and three hanging down from that. 
now time to build the counterweight at the front here. So directly under this grindstone we want two blocks of andesite and we'll texture this in the end but then we want four blocks like so coming off the sides and then coming underneath we want to fill this all up with slabs so it is a 3x3 like so. Place some walls in these sections and then finally some stairs on top of those blocks. So we have this kind of bell shape almost and then we can come in with our cobblestone and give it some more texture. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that with the bell shape or a large rock with kind of flat at the bottom. The pictures I looked at most of them were kind of flat so it can rest on the ground once it's not in use and yet yeah, texture it with some cobblestone and some andesite and that is going to be the arm or the weight that pulls our arm and swings our projectile off in that direction. So speaking of projectiles this can be pretty much anything you like but this is how mine is going to look. I'm going to have a stair going that way, regular stair again, upside down stair under that one and under upside down stair under that one again and it just looks like kind of a large boulder. Um, I'm going to just change out a couple of these with cobblestone, add the texture once again and there we have it. Well guys that is our trebuchet design all done. Not something I've built before but definitely something fun and a new challenge to go ahead and do it. I was inspired to create both the trebuchet and the catapult here so I thought I would make a little tutorial on my take on what these guys would look like if I was to build it for my world. If you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below that would be awesome it would really help me out. Consider subscribing as well and until the next time guys bye bye.